The idea when solving linear equations is to gradually unravel the equation to end up with x equals at the end. So in the first example, we have 3x plus 2 equals 23. If we begin by taking 2 from both sides, the plus 2 here will be cancelled out. So we're left with a 3x. And we've taken 2 from both sides, so we're left with a 21. So 3 times x equals 21. Then to get x equals, we must divide by 3. So x will equal 21 divided by 3, which equals 7. So 7 is a solution to the equation. 3 times 7 is 21, plus 2 equals 23. So in the second example, 11x plus 38 equals 35. So we want x by itself. We begin by taking away the 38, that's on the, on the left hand side. So if I take away 38, I'm left with the 11x on the left hand side. But 35 take away 38 is actually minus 3. We are allowed negative solutions. And then I divide by 11 to find x. So x equals minus 3 divided by 11. It is a negative fraction. In the first example, I got a whole number. In the second example, I got a fraction. So, in the third example, 7x take away 1 equals 28. There's a minus 1 there, so I need to add 1 to both sides. So the left hand side is left with 7x. But on the right hand side, I get a 29. I've added 1 to both sides. And then divide by the 7. So x equals 29 divided by 7, a top heavy fraction, which you could, if you wanted, write as a mixed number. There are four 7s in 29, remainder 1, 4 and 1 seventh. The fourth example has a negative coefficient of x, and there's a trick to this type of question. If I begin by adding 3x to both sides, the minus 3x here cancels out. So I'm left with 5 equals 11 plus 3x. I can then rewrite this as 11 plus 3x equals 5. And then remove the 11 by taking 11. So 3x equals 5 take away 11, which is minus 6. I then divide by 3. So x equals minus 6 divided by 3, which is actually minus 2. So when we solve linear equations, we can get whole answers, fractions, which are negative, mixed numbers, and negative integers. The trick is, is to use inverse functions to gradually unravel the equation.